Hi everyone, welcome back to Hands On Higher Ed. I'm Annalicia and today we're gonna to show you how to redesign, revamp, and restructure your manual. When you're creating a training manual, one of the easiest ways to make your manual more visually appealing is by actually adding a cover page. In order to add one, you're going to go ahead and go to the insert tab in the upper left of your document. Left click it and select cover page. This will bring up a drop down menu where you can select from several pre-made cover pages. One of our favorites is actually grid, so let's go ahead and select it. And just like that, you get a raise. Well, almost. You'll still have to create a table of contents that auto updates and probably format a few heading styles. Guess you'll just have to watch to the end of the video if you want that raise. Now let's go ahead and input the title of our training manual. I'm not really a fan of the provided text boxes because they tend to be pretty finicky when you're trying to change the font style or size later on. So let's select the main title box and hit backspace on the keyboard until the box disappears. Go ahead and write in the title of your manual. Ours will be hands on higher ed. Next, you'll scroll down to the section below it, click it, and press backspace until it too deletes the box. We usually use this section as a subheading or an inspirational quote for our manuals. Finish the cover page by either deleting or filling in this section, then change the background colors of your cover page as well. We recommend matching the color palette of your school or the styles your strategic communication office has requested. Go ahead and hit that like button below if you've stuck around this long because you're going to love the next part of this manual. We're going to insert a table of contents that will allow you to click the titles within it to automatically travel to the section of your manual you want to read. This is practically a requirement if you have a manual anything over 10 pages. First, make sure that you're in the References tab. Then click on the table of contents. Now scroll down to where it says Custom Table of Contents and select this option. Under the Print Preview section of this dialog box, you'll see what your table of contents would look like if you were to distribute the document as a normal Word file. Here, our document has three headers, which we can customize with the three options directly below this area. Show page numbers, write align page numbers, and a drop-down menu to decide the styling of the line that goes between the header, title, and page number. Under the Web Preview section of the dialog box, you'll see how your document's table of contents would look if you were to save it as a PDF file before sending it out. As you might imagine, viewers of your manual can just click the hyperlink to go to that section. The General section is available for helping you determine how you want to style your headings in terms of font size, bolding, etc. Selecting the drop-down arrow will reveal several pre-formatted options, but I personally like to leave this selection as From Template, so that I can modify the styles myself using the Modify button. Once the Modify button is clicked, you'll see a pretty scary looking dialog box pop up. But don't worry, I'll explain what's going on. Basically, the TOC or Table of Contents 1, 2, and 3 are referring to Heading 1, 2, and 3. If you select any of these and select the modify box inside this dialog window, you'll modify or change the style of the header whose number you selected. Lastly, you can adjust how many headings show up in your table of contents by typing in a number next to the show levels option. We recommend no more than three to keep your table of contents readable. Press OK on the last two dialog boxes and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel because you're about to see the hard work pay off. In order to use heading styles in your document, you'll want to left click on your home tab. The styles will be at the top of your page under the styles section. You can then head into the document itself to add your heading one or main header. Think of this option as being used to declare a broad section of your manual. We're going to go ahead and call ours my main title. Next, let's go ahead and type our secondary header. This would be a subtitle for your main header and used primarily for secondary information related to your main header. We're going to go ahead and call this my secondary title. Finally, we'll type out a title for our heading 3 styles, which would be used to describe an even more focused section of our secondary header. Now that each of our headings have been typed out, 
Let's go ahead and apply the appropriate heading styles to them. In order to do this, go up to the style section of your page and select heading one, heading two, and heading three to make the magic of our table of contents come to life. You can style the font color, size, and spacing of each heading type by right-clicking on the heading style and selecting Modify. In order to update the table of contents, you're going to go ahead and right-click the table of contents and select Update Field. Now you'll see that it automatically writes in the titles that you've identified. If we bring these titles to the next page, then go back up to the table of contents. We can hold down Control or Command, then left click the title where we would like to travel to in our manual to automatically be taken there. This is really, really helpful for larger manuals. Here's an example of what you can do with your manuals if you apply some of the skills that you learned in this video. You're still here! Well, thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to follow us on social media on Hands On Higher Ed. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.